Hey guys, welcome back to the stream. This is Connor from Futures Analytica bringing you guys another live trading session. We're gonna jump right into it by switching it into regression here because of this pretty obvious regression channel. Um, you're gonna notice that we do have pretty high entropy as well, which is gonna keep us inside of regression mode for um, at least the time being. There's our first trade, we got filled long here. Oh, by the way guys, we do have the 16 tick take profit in this one up from the 14 in our last video. Unfortunately, we're starting out the day with a loss. That brings us down to 359.26 negative. Looks like we get filled long again here. Had some better luck that trade um, up to 111.48 now. Hope you guys had a wonderful New Year's, by the way. Certainly did. Nice and pleasant evening. There we go. Just got filled long and we won that trade pretty quickly. Here we get a long fill. So if we lose this trade, we're going to be switching it into trend mode. That's because it's going to be outside of the range and it's going to confirm a mode switch. But if we win, we're keeping it in regression. Unfortunately, there's another loss for us. We're going to be switching it into, into trend mode. Even if it immediately re-enters this range, we're not going to immediately switch back to regression. We're going to give it some time and wait for more confirmation. Wow, not really starting the new year strong here, guys, but um, that's okay. We're going to keep trying. Definitely a tough day to trade. You can see here we've maintained this range and we're going to be keeping it inside of regression mode as our previous decision. Situations like that where we lost those trades, don't you think arming only long or short will help force the trade in the direction we see slash want? Uh, yes, absolutely. If you have a direction that you are looking for the strategy to enter and you're just looking for timing, absolutely I highly recommend doing selective long slash short arming. I haven't done that in quite a while just because I've been using regression slash trend only and I haven't been touching that very much at all, but I do recommend that if you have the opportunity and uh, you see a reason to do so. And there we go. There is a win. It was a short trade and we got filled on that pretty quickly there. Hopefully we can get back into this pretty quickly. You can see there, I do believe I had made a blunder by switching into trend. I had completely ignored these two very, very large and recent imbalance zones that were automatically marked by the AC4 plus. In starting the stream, I didn't really do much research in looking back to see when those levels were. So I didn't have much context on that. But a viewer did point that out in the Q&A form. So thank you for letting me know about that one. There we go. Now we're in the green up to 250.92 on the day. It was a long trade and we ended up winning that one. Also guys, um, hope you guys are enjoying the newest update. We are going to be sending out another one later today. This is going to include some bug fixes along with a uh, prepackaged model. And guys, if your heuristic parameter optimization is not activating on your end, make sure you have unchecked use prepackaged model, or if you do have a prepackaged model installed, add an ADX to your chart. At the end of the day, I will take high volatility and not a very high win rate over just no trades. So it is nice that we're actually getting filled. Also speaking of the new year, uh, we do have that new year's 24% off sale um, going until the end of the day today. Wow, that trade's gonna end up in a loss back to zero today. Not our best day to trade, but that's okay. We're just gonna keep playing the numbers game and eventually we have to regress to the mean, which would be our um, pretty high win rate. So I would see that we're pretty likely to um, get a string of wins in the near future. I guess we do deserve this because we uh, didn't lose a single trade in the last trading session we did. Up to 437 on the day now, very nice. There we go, there is another win up to 923 on the day, which is above our highest drawdown today, surprisingly. Um, even though we lost so many trades today, we're not doing too bad at all. If you guys are looking for just a pretty good, reasonably priced VPS server um, near the CME, to answer your questions, Srini, um, I'd check out Speedy Trading Servers. I've heard really, really good things about them, and in the past I have personally used them and um, they do get pretty really, really, really fast connection speeds. So I would go and read some reviews on them and make a decision uh, based on that, but I'm not affiliated with them and I don't get any commission from that, but um, it's a, it's just an all around good company, so. Also guys, um, getting a good machine learning model is much less dependent on picking good indicators now. Uh, you're gonna wanna be utilizing that um, incremental learning feature, which is going to optimize on the fly based off of your decisions. Um, initially, you may see um, less than optimal results, but over time, those will significantly improve very quickly. Just make sure that you're trading with your decisions and you're actually making decisions that um, you would make in terms of trend and regression selection, as described in the guidebook. Now we're starting to get some steam here and end up winning a few trades in a row to $1,800 on the day. See there, even if you have a rough start, of course, don't over trade. If you're, if you're on a pretty big drawdown streak, I, uh, I would stop trading for the day. But you can see there, we had a pretty reasonable loss uh, in the beginning of $500 and we we're stuck around that level for quite a bit. Um, we stuck with it, just kept trading to our strategy, didn't get tripped up, especially um, with the mistakes that we had made earlier with that preemptive trend selection there. You just gotta keep pushing through it and don't get tripped up by your past mistakes. 
Trades are taken by player to teach it. So basically you would just be teaching it by trading it normally by um, switching in between trend and regression, um, arming and disarming. And um, whenever you'd lose a trade, it would learn from that. And whenever you'd win a trade, it would learn from that. Um, it'd reinforce good habits and bad habits and de-incentivize bad habits. Just got filled short here and we got that um, auto chase on the stop loss pretty quickly there. Almost got stopped out of that trade there. I'm glad we didn't because we ended up getting filled on that. I'm a little bit close there, but now we're up to 2350. My strategy does not automatically rearm when auto arm is off. I'm just clicking the arm both button or I'm just using the hotkeys for that. Also guys, again, um, please remember that uh, just an example of this happening was when I made this mistake back here earlier in the day where I switched to trend mode even though I wasn't supposed to. These live streams don't aren't supposed to serve as a um, time to where you should in immediately copy uh, what I'm doing. It's not about that. And in doing so, that puts a lot of pressure on me um, initially. It's much easier to, for example, I'd be able to explain that that was not supposed to happen after and you'd be able to see that video and you'd be able to learn from that. You'd be able to learn from why I do mode switches, even with the, the mistakes that I make. But there, if you've been following along, you would have been in the wrong mode. Um, so again, guys, I am human and uh, that's exactly why I streams are not meant to be a follow along type of deal. If you do get a new computer, um, it is likely that your machine ID did change. Just email us with that new machine ID. If your heuristic parameter optimization isn't showing up, that likely means that you are not in optimized mode in your strategy settings. And uh, yeah, guys, we are working on uh, releasing more, um, uh, what's it called, documentation on the new revision, uh, which is gonna be released in the, in the new update that's coming out later today, which you will receive an email on uh, pretty soon. We just got filled short here. If we end up winning this trade, we are gonna be switching it into trend because we don't have anything below. At least not for a while. Let's check this out. Yeah, this is a very, very old level anyway. But if we win this trade, that's gonna be what we're doing. Yeah, so we won that trade, switching it into trend there. I'm um, gonna try and catch a breakdown if we um, if it does end up happening. If you guys are curious what my derived zone filter values are, check it out in the description. And um, yes, that is correct. Uh, your RSME slash R2 value is not as important as the training the machine learning does yourselves with incremental learning. So with that being said, I do suggest trying to optimize it to a reasonable level, at least with RSME below 20 and your R squared above 0.5. But after that, you are very, very recommended, or it is recommended to just start trading normally and have your incremental learning enabled. Let's see if we can get a win here. Right back down to our zero line after that stop chase. So win rate's pretty low at this point. Yeah, unfortunately that trade ended up not working out. So if you guys are curious about Apex's rules against automated trading software, the Clarity ATI is not included within that umbrella. That rule is specifically targeting people who are doing latency arbitrage and news arbitrage, which would go against their policies and would basically allow you to take advantage of them in ways that wouldn't work with uh, real markets. So that is, that, that's what that rule's about, but I have confirmed with them that this, this strategy is uh, compatible with their if you're using a trade copier in conjunction with Polarity, you won't encounter any issues as long as you don't have um, the limit orders for entry option enabled. Can run into some compatibility issues with uh, fill timing and whatnot if you do have that option checked. But other than that, you won't encounter that in normal usage. I don't use the limit order feature. That was a user requested feature. but. With the formation of this new green derived zone here, we are gonna be watching entropy very, very closely to see if we're gonna do a regression switch inside of this small micro zone. If there is gonna be chop that's happening inside of this zone, we're gonna to wanna to definitely take advantage of that because tight chop like that is basically a guaranteed alpha right there if we're in regression mode. Like back here, if you were inside of this very, very tight zone way back here, if you were inside of regression mode, there would have been a pretty, pretty solid win rate on that one. Here we get filled long. Um, again, we're gonna be watching entropy here uh, of course we're not doing that switch into regression mode yet but if we bounce off of this red derived zone here um, and delta ends up following and going against price that'll be a confirmation of a regression mode switch so basically you're looking for a, a divergence on this bar or the following bars along with price staying within those zones you can see that price is staying within the zone but we don't have that divergence yet um, we're gonna wait for another bar uh, to confirm whether or not we're gonna be inside of regression mode you can see here um, that derived zone pretty accurately predicted price bouncing off this level here. Yeah, as you can see, I'm glad that we did not do a preemptive switch into regression mode there, especially with price just breaking through this superficial zone there. So keep that in mind that entropy still is important in, with machine learning. If we win this trade, that should be um, our profit target, but we may end up continuing trading if we can keep getting opportunities like this. 
pretty solid. Ended up winning that trade. Glad we stayed in trend mode for that. Guys, I think we're going to end up calling it here at a 5,100. That is our profit target of $5,000 in session. So that, that's a pretty good way to end it, especially with uh, how we started. It was a little bit of a weaker start there, but I ended up pulling through.